Hello everyone. All you fellow NOS fans. I am the surviving member of Nightmare of Sovereignty. Nightmare of Sovereignty has made a few changes throughout the years and currently is just a one man band, a solo project. I suppose I should have made videos like this, you know, over the past 10 years. But I took a lot of comfort in using Facebook, using the band's page. However, uh, some bullshit has happened with Facebook and uh, I've basically been locked out of that page. I never again will be able to access the Nightmare of Sovereignty Facebook page. And so because of that, whatever is on there right now, that's just the way it's going to be until the end of time because I can't log in anymore. Someone hacked the uh, page or whatever and they changed the, uh, the password and I can't get into it. So because of that, I'm now going to have to use the YouTube uh, medium to communicate with you all. So I'll make videos sort of like this periodically. Let me catch you up with uh, the situation of Nightmare Sovereignty as it currently is. NOS is in the process of recording a sixth album. I'm halfway through it. Everything's going great. The music sounds amazing. It's awesome. Uh, the album is going to have less tracks than what we, uh, we had originally in the past. Normally we averaged around 12 to 13 songs per album. But now that it's just me, it's just a solo project, I'm doing around 8 to 9 songs per album. Because I have to do every part and it, it just it takes a lot of time in studio. Time is money. And that's just more things that I have to learn and keep track of. The way I do it is I record, or I, I familiarize myself with two songs at a time. That's the pattern I'm doing right now. So I learn two songs with all the parts, you know, lead guitar, rhythm guitar, bass, drums, and all the, well, I don't do the vocals right off the bat, but I get the musical stuff, the instrumentation. I go to the studio, I record them, uh, I get to hear the finished product for the very first time when I go to the studio and pay to have it recorded. I don't do the the vocal session during that studio session. I will finish for the day, pay the man and leave. <clears throat> I'll then familiarize myself with two new songs uh, instrumentally. Meanwhile, I'll be learning the lyrics of the past two songs. Uh, familiarizing myself with the, the cadences, how to enunciate certain spots, how I want it to flow. And then when I go back to the studio the next time, I will do, I will record all the parts for the next two songs instrumentally, and then do the vocals for the previous two, because I couldn't practice really how to do the vocals for those songs until I have them recorded. And that's basically the way NOS has done it for the past several years, even when we was just a two-member uh, band. Back then, uh, when it was just me and another guy, we would do the same thing, but instead of two songs, it was four songs. 
as it stands right now, I have no ambitions of ending uh, Nightmare of Sovereignty after this album. As of right now, I plan on releasing more music after the sixth album. The goal, long term, has been and continues to be to release eight full-length albums. Now, I'm not doing the 12 tracks like I, like we were, but I still will release eight or nine songs per album, something to that effect. <clears throat> so, I've really hit a hard snag now that I'm by myself, and then right on top of it, I basically get the band's Facebook page stolen from me. Now, this has nothing to do with the other member. Um, he actually had no access to the band's Facebook. That was all me. So, it's not like some kind of vendetta thing. Um, me and him are on you know, very good, friendly terms. He just wasn't feeling the band anymore. He got into the band when he was 14 years old. Uh, when we were writing and recording the very first NOS album, the Made in America album, um, he was 14 and 15 years old. He had just gotten into high school. When the band formed, he was in 8th grade, so he was very young. And 10 years later, he, he just wasn't feeling it. So there, there's there's no anger or, or resentment or any kind of feud between us really in that regard. <laughs> so it's not like he was the one who did it. This is some kind of freak hack kind of thing. At least that's what I su suppose. But uh, yeah, it, it, just having to pick up where uh, everything kind of fell apart. But this isn't the first time I've had to do that. In the beginning, there was four of us. And when half the band left, we got twice as good. Well, now half the band has left again. Um, so the pressure is on me. It's all on me. And uh, I don't think I'm going to let you guys down. I think you're going to like what's coming. This sixth album will be the last album that I'll be doing six string guitars specifically in the tuning of drop C. So that's C, G, C, F, A, D. I plan on changing things up for the next two albums. As of right now, for the sixth album, the sixth album is set to be released on December 4th, 2019. That will be the 10-year anniversary of Nightmare of Sovereignty. Nightmare of Sovereignty was formed in Dece on December 4th of 2009. So, time just flies, man. <clears throat> but... For all you who have stuck with us, um, you know, be sure to try to spread the word that I can't access the Facebook page anymore. And if anyone wants to follow me and follow the band, then they've got to do it through YouTube now. Um, the music will still be released for free listening and free downloading on the Bandcamp page. I still have access to that. I need to upload a video, at least of, you know, the still image of the album cover for the fifth album. Just been slacking on it. I have a lot going on in my personal life. And, you know, I'm I'm pulling the weight of four people, arguably five, 
in NOS. And additional, I have my own personal life. It's a lot. Um, I spent a lot of money and time on this band. You know, for the past 10 years. And, I mean, I don't get any money in return for this. I don't... I don't do shows. I don't... I don't do shows. I don't you know, really sell merch. I have some shirts. But I don't really have the opportunity to sell them. Um, I don't do physical copies anymore. Uh, of the albums. And I offer all the albums for free download. So... You know, this is more or less uh, a genuine hobby that I have. To all you who appreciate it, who appreciate the music and the passion, the lyrical message, you know, thank you all for sticking with me all this time. And uh, we got a couple more years to go. And uh, yeah, see you in December.